Does it? Yeah, it does, huh? Yeah, this is the vehicle. Um, I'm, it looks kind of like a Jag to us, uh, but your monitor is bigger. If you guys think it's something else, uh, let me know. Ask again. A desk, if you wanted the street, it's Fountain and Vine. Northbound, Vine. Just this guy's really flying here on surface streets in the Hollywood area. Uh, unclear what uh, LAPD is uh, pursuing this guy for, but he just made a turn. turn coming up to sunset hearing that it's a cold plated vehicle all very busy streets here in the hollywood area especially on a friday evening northbound highland now northbound highland from franklin uh this uh, is possibly a still possibly a what the police department is describing as a cold plated vehicle. So in all likelihood, this is a stolen car that has a set of paper plates or rather a set of license plates that does not belong to that vehicle. Oh, this, yeah, that was really close there. Coming uh, into an area that actually had a sign that said that there was uh, some uh, parking restrictions here. So we'll see what's going on. This is a residential area here in Hollywood uh, that's uh, just north of uh, the major thoroughfare here in uh, Hollywood, Hollywood and Highland. It's just to the north of that. So it, it is a residential area for the most part. He's climbing uphill here, uh, very narrow streets here, making another turn uh, here northbound. Yeah, very narrow streets up here, uh, residential area for the most part. Uh, you really, really wouldn't traverse through these uh, streets unless you live here. Squeezing by some cars here under those trees. We'll get you the shot as soon as we can. There he is coming out right now. And he's going to have to turn here in our direction. So he's going to come right under us here for just a moment. Not really sure if this guy knows where he's going at this point because you, these streets are really narrow, residential area. You really want to be up here unless you live up here. Uh, so we'll see exactly what he's intending to do. Uh, eventually, he may actually come up to a cul-de-sac and uh, we'll see what he does if that happens. He, he may drive himself into a corner here. So, uh, I mean, ideally, hopefully he would do that and give himself up at that point. But for now, this pursuit continues here. Uh, in this residential area here in Hollywood, as you can see, it's a it's a steep climb as he continues to head uh, north on this particular street. This is going to be uh, closest to the uh, majors of Highland and the 101 freeway. Those are the two uh, closest uh, majors that I can describe for you. You can see that some people there are outside of their home watching this pursuit as it goes by. Uh, what looks like a very expensive car uh, to me, possibly a Jaguar. We are yet to get official confirmation of that, but you can see the tinted windows uh, because of those heavily tinted windows. I have not been able to see how many people are in the vehicle. Of course, there's going to be at least one person, that being the driver. Unclear if that driver is a male or a female. But what we did hear earlier was that the driver was reaching under his or her seat and of course that always makes the law enforcement personnel a little bit nervous we also heard that he may he or she may have thrown something out of the vehicle that has since been recovered by the lapd so yeah uh, well at the end of all this of course we're going to find out exactly what it was he or she threw out but for now we'll continue to watch this pursuit here in the hollywood area As you can see, very narrow streets here, only one lane in every direction. Still northbound here. Again, a very steep uh, drive for this driver. And I have not seen any units directly behind him. He's right now on the other side of those trees. We'll uh, 
get the shot for you here in a moment. I'll uh, stay with the patrol unit since the suspect vehicle uh, was under those trees and I lost sight of him for just a moment, but he's going to be popping up here uh, in just a moment. Here he is up here, making that sharp eastbound turn. Castle Lane is the street I'm hearing. So these are the residences that are just to the west of the Hollywood Bowl. So if you can just imagine the Hollywood Hills, you know those homes on those hills and those steep streets uh, that all basically are a steep drive uphill up uh, north. Uh, you can see the police helicopter there right overhead, right over this pursuit. Again, what we believe is a cold-plated vehicle, uh, which in all likelihood means it is a stolen car that has a fake set of license plates on the vehicle. A car coming right under us here for just a moment. We'll get you a better shot as soon as he makes this next turn. Uh, again, a very residential area. As you can see, a lot of these homes are big uh, mansions, uh, multi-million dollar homes in the Hollywood area. It's unclear if he has any association with any homes in the area or if he's simply just made a wrong turn and that's what led him uh, to come up here and hold on for just a moment guys i need to talk to our assignment desk i'll be right with you joe go ahead say that again for me joe you got cut off Yeah, Castilian Drive is a good one. Uh, it should be uh, just to the uh, west of the Hollywood Bowl. Hey, back with you guys here. Uh, my pilot, Alex Crewall is looking out his side of the chopper, and he can see that this street is going to come to a dead end. So it was what we were expecting. Eventually, these streets do come to an end. So when that happens, that's really going to be a pivotal moment in this pursuit. Uh, at that point, this driver, of course, can give up. That's what would be the ideal situation, or he may try to hang a U-turn here. So we'll see exactly what he does. Here we go. Hands out of the wheel, or out of the wheel, out of the window, rather. We can see the suspect has his or her hands outside of that driver's side window. We're, we're going to try to get on the other side here uh, in just a moment. Los Tilos is the street here that we believe this all came to an end at. Los Tilos here in the Hollywood Hills. We can see that the driver's door is open. We can see the driver's hands there. The police department is going to ask that driver to throw the keys out. That way, regardless of what happens, the driver will not be able to take off yet again. So that's the first thing we're going to see. If this driver is complying with the authorities, we're going to see those keys fall to the ground. At that point, the police department will ask that suspect to step out and show them his or her waistband, and that's what we're seeing now here. We see that this driver has his hands up. It is a male driver, hands up towards the sky, wearing that gray shirt and black shorts. He's slowly stepping away from the vehicle, following the commands of the officers that are directly behind him. He is now down on his knees, hands still up in the air, and now he is touching the ground with his stomach, fully extending his four limbs. And I'm going to pull the shot out for just a moment here so we can see what the officers are doing as well. We may soon see a team of officers approach that suspect vehicle to make sure that there is nobody else inside. And at that point, we will also see a secondary set of officers approach the suspect and take him into custody until they can determine whether or not there is any other other person inside of the vehicle this will continue to be a very dangerous situation for the law enforcement personnel so they are going to take as much time as they need to make sure that this comes to a peaceful end i'm going to pull the shot out here for just a moment so that we can see how close this is to some of the major landmarks here in the area, that being the Hollywood Bowl. You can see it there. You can see that there's actually some type of show either about to begin or currently in progress. You can see that there is an audience in the stands. I'm going to move the shot back now towards that 
pursuit termination. You can see that that first set of officers has moved towards that vehicle. They are going to check inside, make sure there is nobody inside. They will also check the trunk to make sure that there is nobody inside of that car's trunk. Again, this vehicle had very dark windows, so it was not possible to see whether anybody else was inside. We now see another set of officers approaching this suspect. They are slowly going to put a set of handcuffs on him, and once they do, they will help him to his feet, and they will have him walk back to one of the police units where they, will, where they will search his waistband, search his pockets, make sure that there's nothing on him that could possibly hurt them. And then this guy will be on his way to jail. But of course, uh, you can see that the situation is not over yet. You can see that those two officers there still have their guns pointed at that car's trunk because they have yet been able to open that. They have not been able to check whether or not there is anyone in that trunk. So until they can determine that, they're going to be as fully alert as possible. So we will continue to watch that situation as we see the suspect also being now escorted to that patrol car where he will be put into that back seat in just a few minutes and be taken off to the jail uh, for the uh, Rampart Division of the LAPD, who is the division who is actually in pursuit. Uh, for a time, we did have Hollywood officers join in the efforts. They backed off because there were enough Rampart Division units uh, already in pursuit. So they were the ones that let, or that followed rather, followed this uh, pursuit uh, from the MacArthur Park area, and it all ended here, of course, in Hollywood, adjacent to the Hollywood Bowl. And there we go, the trunk is open. The suspect's taking a good look. And it does not appear that there is anybody else inside of the vehicle. There was word for a time that there were, in fact, two suspects in that vehicle. But of course, now that we see the termination of it all, we see that there is just that one male suspect, the driver, who is now in police custody. I'm going to pull the shot back out one more time so we can take a look at where this ended, uh, adjacent to the Hollywood Bowl, of course, a major landmark here in the Los Angeles area. You can see there, and I'm actually going to pull, it, push the shot in just to touch that I can show you that there is, in fact, uh, some sort of show either in progress or about to begin. Uh, and, of course, that's a uh, being interrupted by this uh, pursuit that came to an end just to the west of the Hollywood Bowl, a pursuit of a coal-plated vehicle all coming to an end here in the Hollywood area. Just getting word from our assignment desk that it's a symphony at the Hollywood Bowl. So, of course, they did not expect uh, their show to be interrupted by all of this excitement. Uh oh, no, no, no. We have a suspect running. Oh, to watch more heart-stopping car chases happening across Southern California, subscribe here. Thanks for watching. The chase is on.